watching the game of bid whistles like going to the Apollo on <laughs> amateur, amateur night. night. <laughs> there is a magic to this game yes. that makes it the black national pastime. Oh. Oh. Where did that queen come from? I think they cheat. <laughs> Throughout our history, black Americans have, with great ingenuity and imagination, created a world with its own values and rules. A world defined by unfettered racial self-expression. A world behind what W.E.B. Du Bois called the veil. When we talk about networks of black people, we're talking about different types of associations. There's a social type, fraternal and intellectual organizations. How were each of you shaped by black social institutions? I grew up in an African preschool. I didn't learn Snow White in the Seven Dwarfs. I learned Cold Black in the Seven Simbas. <laughs> <laughs> what does black joy mean to you? Black joy means being in a safe space and feeling free, where you can really be yourself and shed that skin. Wherever you have a large concentration of African Americans, you have business districts that rise up, that meet the needs in these communities. Annie Malone and Madam C.J. Walker basically developed hair straightening. Was that a good thing for black beauty? Part of our magic is that we can do anything with our hair. I can straighten it, I'm still gonna be dope Julie, black Julie. Black social networks, black institutions, they are like barrier islands. They protect us from the storms of this country. When we come together, what time is it? So what happens when we begin to see the deterioration of black institutional life? There have been people who've argued that our community was better off before integration. When I was growing up, everybody in my sphere was black. There was just that sense of everybody in this together. I think we've lost that. When we look now in the 21st century, we see many of the same issues our black foremothers and forefathers faced. Economic disenfranchisement, anti-black violence. No justice, no peace. But we're facing them without many of the institutions that black people had to sustain them during the first round. I constantly am thinking about what it means to occupy my identities. I do surround myself with blackness. As long as race counts in America, black networks and institutions will always matter. From the founding of the Prince Hall Masons to black Twitter, African Americans have forged networks in their own image as the ultimate act of resistance and survival.